What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again today we are back with another video and this time it is on the god of death yamraj <laughs> it's dead night here and i am about to sleep but before sleeping i thought i will make this video on yamraj himself well i'm just joking it's not on yamraj it is related to death and the submission and the seriousness and the discipline of a disciple disciple is shishya shishya means a student of any guru any teacher disciple is much more than that actually student is one who just takes knowledge disciple is one who takes the order of the guru as his or her heart and soul is he or she is not just a student for the disciple the instruction that the guru gives that is like in hindi you say na patthar ki lakeer which means that once that is written that cannot be reverted back you have to follow it that is his determination and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and maybe you will find him <laughs> if you find him please let me know also okay in the comments or if you have had any divine experience or sometimes therefore if you are new to the channel i forgot to say please subscribe to it below and if you want a personal consultation then please check the link to my new website vedic renaissance below and go and mail me accordingly now what happened was there was a guru one day and this guru told the disciple one of his very faithful loyal disciples that my dear you have to execute this task and if i die before that then you have to do this alone so good luck so indirectly the guru was hinting him that i am going to die that's very bad right but what to do everybody has to leave one day <laughs> so then what happened this disciple he asked his guru what is your order what is your instruction tell me i will follow it like the words written in a rock and then the guru told him that okay so i instruct you that you have to make a hut here you have to do this you have to do that then so many other instructions he gave and the disciple was hearing with pinpoint attention and he noted down everything he did need a google what would you say that a mobile recorder he recorded everything in his consciousness in his memory and he said yes my dear guru maharaj whatever you say i will do it with all my heart and soul whatever you instruct me and then very soon that day itself the night his guru left his body and then the disciple came to know that my guru maharaj has left and then he started crying <laughs> he cried as if the whole universe has come to an end he was clueless what to do without him but he had the instructions of his guru on his mind so he was more concerned about following the instructions of the guru rather than lamenting or sobbing oh my god my guru has died what a loss it is for me that is undoubtedly a loss but more important than focusing on that is to focus on whatever your guru has instructed you to do and then what happened he started executing his duties from the next day morning itself people were astonished people said oh maybe this person didn't like his guru or maybe this person hated his guru or maybe this person uh was not very he didn't have a very cordial relationship or maybe they had some quarrel tussle or fights maybe or maybe he just hated him he wished that his guru died and now he's like very happy and then people started talking in in his vicinity oh just see how he is happy how Uh, how determinedly he is doing his activities see there is no sorrow in him maybe he is very happy that his guru left but 
he ignored all the rumors and he started doing his work, his duty, his dharma. <laughs> and then what happened? He was executing his duties. And while executing his duties, one day death approached him like it approached his guru. He was not very old that time. He was of a mediocre age, middle age. And then what happened? Yamraj, the god of death, he descended with his buffalo. And then he said, my dear, your time is now up. You have to come with me. You will have to pay for all the sins that you have committed. And then Yamraj smiled and told him, I am waiting, my dear sir. <laughs> Please come with me or else I will strip you with my Yamapash. Yamapash is that deadly uh, neck, uh, that noose which Yamraj has by which he subdues everybody. Okay. So then Yamraj thought, this person is not listening. So he went to throw that noose. And then this disciple, he, he was sleeping and he rose from his subtle body. And he told to Yamaraj, My dear Yamaraj, wait, not now, later. <laughs> he told to Yamaraj, that don't you dare not come in front of me. If you come, I will curse you. Please don't come near me. Because I will only go to you. <laughs> you don't have to waste time by coming to me. I will myself go and submit myself to you. I will voluntarily surrender to you. Because I know I have committed so many sins in my life. And I have to pay for them in the hellish planets of course Yamaraj does not reside in hell he resides in Pitraloka that is what Srimad Bhagavatam says where the Pitris reside the ancestors and that is where Maharaj Pandu ascended to when he left his body Maharaj Pandu is the father of the Pandavas Yudhishthir Bhim Arjun Nakul and Sadiv of the Mahabharat so then what happened Yamaraj said how dare you speak to me like that what do you think? You will go when you went, when you want. You think you are like Bhishma who had the boon of Ichan Mrityu that you will die only when you want. No, no, I am going to take you now. And then this disciple, he said, I will be very happy to come with you. But the only problem is my Guru's instructions have not yet been completed. He told me to build this hut. I am making it, but I have still not completed. So I am not staying here because of my likes and my dislikes or because of my wishes, hopes and desires. I have nothing of my own here. But it is the order of my Guru that I build this hut where other disciples can sleep peacefully in the night. And without doing that, I will not come. I will not go with you nor with anywhere. Please do not force me. <laughs> and when Yamaraj heard this, he smiled. <laughs> and Yamaraj said, Wow, beautiful this is. Since the time, the dawn of time, I have seen people not wanting to come to me because of their attachments, because of different varieties of enjoyment which people uh, really share so-called enjoyments like pleasures of the opposite sex, pleasures of money, food. But this person is very different. He does not want to stay here to enjoy. He just wants to stay here to fulfill the orders of his Guru. This is something very divine. And then what happened? Yamraj said, okay, I go back. And then what happened? After some years, this person became very old. And 
and naturally he understood that now my time has come so he was praying to yamaraj please come please come come and take me i don't want to live here anymore my guru's instructions have been fulfilled i have executed them with all my heart and soul now i have no problem to descend to uh, to ascend actually not descend because the yamaloka is the pitra loka which is above the bhuloka the it is above the seventh realm which is our planetary system bhumandala so it's not descending it's actually ascending so he said i am ready to ascend to yamaloka with you and yeah by the way you may be thinking uh, then what about the hellish planets no hellish planets are beyond the 14 planetary systems outside the uh, what you say that navel of brahma not the navel what you say the lotus which brahma ji creates it is beyond that near the viraja river i will make a separate video on that sometimes but just to clarify your uh, if if you get uh, confused i am just saying that yamaraj does not reside in hell he resides in pitra loka which is not exactly a heavenly planet heavenly planet means it is above the bhuloka bhuloka is the seventh planetary system where we reside all right and above the bhuloka is bhuval loka and then you have different planetary systems mahal loka swarga loka tapa loka gyana loka brahma loka and so many and then below there is atala sutala talatala pat mahatala patal so many other i forgot the 40 names most of them i have told <laughs> so see what happens is uh yamaraj resides there so now y- yamaloka is at a uh, is kind of at a higher position than the bhuloka but it is not in swarga loka it is somewhere in between so that means uh, people who are very faithful to their pitris and they continue their dynasty and their duties very well they will ascend to the yamaloka which is pitra loka actually anyways coming back to the topic i love to deviate to vedic cosmology that's one of my favorite topics so whenever it creeps in i can't help it <laughs> So then what happened? He was praying to Yamaraj that please come and take me. Either you take me to Yamaloka or you take me to the hellish planets. I mean, Yamaraj does not take his assistants who are known as Yamadutas. They will take you to punish you for your sinful activities. And then Yamaraj, he is one of the four Dikpalas, the lords of the four directions. Indra varuna kubera and yamaraj himself so then what happened he understood that this great personality his final time has come so i must go to address him now and this person this disciple was praying 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 and yamaraj appeared the god of death <laughs> and then yamraj said you called me and i'm here <laughs> and then he came out of his subtle body of his that his materialistic consciousness and through his subtle body he started talking to yamraj he he said that thank you very much for coming now please take me to wherever i have to go to pay for my sins then yamraj said well generally when i come it is to take you to some other place <laughs> for a ride but today my purpose is different the purpose of my coming is not to take you to hellish planets not even to take you to higher lokas like pitra loka because you have been freed from all your sins because you executed the orders of your guru perfectly perfectly means not which manifests as perfection but internally you had put all your heart and soul so that is why your sins have been eradicated you are sinless now and because of your uh spiritual activities which you did uh, so much fasting so much meditation so much jap so much tap so much
so much reading of the scripture so much good activities you have done sharing food giving knowledge to others enlightening others helping others the level of pious credits that you have got that is like that's only going to be fulfilled that is only going to be rewarded when you ascend to the heavens and then immediately there was a heavenly celestial airplane and what happened indra the king of the heavens he descended and he said my dear sir yamraj is right <laughs> Your place doesn't belong to the Amaloka or to the hellish planets. The heavens are waiting for you. Please come. <laughs> And then this person he said, "Okay, whatever you say." <laughs> And by this he ascended towards the heavenly planets. And he stayed there for a very, 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 very long time. so that is the story moral of the story is when you order or when you execute the orders of your guru very strictly very diligently all of your sins are finished it's eradicated irrespective of your karma irrespective of your horoscope or irrespective of your current situation if you forget everything and you just execute the orders of your guru and the scriptures the sages the saints the rishis everything will be perfect all right that is it from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to the link below maybe you can see it somewhere here there <laughs> and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with other people who think that they cannot change their karma that's complete rubbish that's that's not the truth all right and if you want a consultation then contact me in my website Until next time wish you good luck with your karmas <laughs> bye bye see you